Hello team, welcome back and today we will discuss how we can archive the Jenkin builds artifact. Till now we have seen how we can create the jobs, how we can build the Maven project or build the project with the help of the Jenkins. And today we will see how we will archive the Jenkins job artifact. But before this, let's understand what are the artifacts and what is the meaning of archiving the artifacts. So let's start with. So archival in Jenkins or archive in Jenkins is how to save files outside the workspace. We know very well that when Jenkins job will execute, it will create a temporary workspace. And inside the job configuration, we get the option delete workspace. It means it will delete the workspace of the previous job when the next time job will be executed. So in some case, if you want to archive the artifacts, artifacts means the data which Jenkins job is generating regarding your project that is called artifact. And if you want to archive that particular artifact which is inside your workspace, then you need to do some changes inside your job. This is called archival process of the artifacts in Jenkins. If you are archiving your Jenkins job artifacts, then you can clean up your workspace, run other builds and the files which have archived in the earlier builds, they will be available for the use. User can build any kind of file. They can build the jar file, war file, HTML file or JS file. And later user required these files to deploy on some system. But if you are not archiving the artifact, you are not archiving the files which is being generated by your Jenkins job, then how you will deploy that particular files. Let's take a simple example. You are working on some project and you are building that particular project with the help of the Jenkins job. You have created the build process of your project with the help of the Jenkins job. Like we have created uh, the building of Maven project in the earlier job, right? Which was executing the unit test and packaging your complete project in a jar. Similar case you can perform with your project. You can create your war file. You can create your jar file. Which kind of file is required for your use, right? And you are not archiving your artifact. It means you are not archiving that particular jar file or war file which is being created with the job. Then what is the meaning of creating that particular war file? Are you just checking the compilation error in your project or you're just checking the unit test in your project? If this is the use case, then definitely you can check it locally. But if we are building the project, then definitely we are building that so that we can deploy that particular product at some place so that other people can test it or consume it. So by this point, archiving in Jenkins job is very necessary. Let's see how we can archive the artifacts. Let's go to the Jenkins server. So here I'm on my Jenkins server. I will log into my account. So team, I am on my dashboard and this is the job which I was using to create the Maven project or build the Maven project first Maven project. I will open this and I will open the console of the sixth job. So you can see over here. I'm not getting any information. I'm just getting the changes which is being done and the user who started this job and the revision history and all. If I will open the console output of this job, then you can see this job has fetched all the changes from my central repository GitHub repository. And after then it has executed few processes. You can see over here. It is compiling my project. Then it has executed the unit test on my project. And over here it is saying building jar file and jar file build is available at war lib Jenkins workspace. My job name Maven samples single module target and this is my jar name. Single module project dot jar, right? So what we are doing in this particular job. So in this job in my job, which name is first Maven project, we are building the code and suppose the code which I'm building in this particular job. I want to archive that particular jar file and I want to deploy that jar file in my staging environment or my production environment. So how we can do that for this? We need to go to the configuration of the job. Once the configuration will open, we need to go to the post build actions. And inside the post build actions, we need to add a new post build action. So once you will open out this drop down, you will get an option archive the artifacts. I will click this and we will get an UI like this over here. You need to provide the file path which you want to archive. If you want, you can specify your file name as when which you want to archive or you can archive all the files which is being generated inside your Jenkins workspace. So suppose I want to archive all the jar files. So instead of providing the complete path, I will provide regular expression by double asterisk slash asterisk dot jar double asterisk means all available path inside your workspace asterisk dot jar means all the files which have the jar extension. If I will save this and build my project again. You can see 
build 7 is executing i will open the seventh build it's running i will open the console output it's completed you can see the test got executed right there is no error this is the jar file which is being generated single module project dot jar and over here we are getting a new statement archiving artifacts if i will open this particular build build number seven we are getting few things over here we are getting the build artifacts and inside the build artifact i am getting my jar file which is being generated by this particular project of my code it means maven has created the jar file of my code which has supplied to the maven and which is present on my github repository so by this particular way you can build your project and you can archive the artifact or the builds of your project and suppose you want to archive all the artifacts which is being generated inside your workspace so we need to configure the project again we will configure this go to the post build options actions and over here i will remove this particular dot jar extension i am providing a path like double asterisk slash asterisk it means archive all the artifacts which is present inside the workspace if you will open this question mark you will get some help over here as well i will save this and i will trigger the build again so you can see build 8 should be generated and you can see build 8 is generating i will open the build 8 and you can see right here a lot of artifacts is being generated now we are getting the pom.xml file as well the java file code which was present inside my github repository the another test java code then we are getting the class files as well right and we are getting all the things which are present inside my build right but this is not ideal way we don't want this much of data we just want the build which is being generated with the maven project right so we will go with the path double asterisk slash asterisk dot jar so that i will get my build which is being generated by this particular job so this is the way how we can archive the artifacts of the jenkins job so that we can use these artifacts further to deploy in the staging environment which is being used by the qa or the production environment once the qa will test my build so team you can see over here this is the complete continuous integration flow we are downloading the project from the shared repository we are building the project and now we are saving the build of my project as well and in coming lectures we will see how we can deploy that particular build on the staging or the queue environment as well so thank you team thanks for your time